Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a review of uh, something DFS-wise that I think is worth reviewing. And it, it does involve reviewing a site and something particular within the site. And um, when we first started this this uh, project, you know, Bobby and I, uh, he had he had the name originally True DFS, but I kind of liked it because. I really wanted to be very transparent about everything that I did, uh, both DFS wise and my, you know, my my opinions on everything else DFS wise. I know that it's not, you know, particularly, I don't know, normal, you know, when when there's competition and things like that to review other sites. But that that's kind of what I was always envisioning is being a very independent you know, uh, very independent DFS person. You know, they were, people, when they saw that I was playing DFS, people that knew me from poker were asking me, what do, what do I do? How, how are you playing, Eric? So so I always felt as though that's what I, I was owed it to, and that's what I wanted to to do, is to show people how I play and what sites I use. Now, again, I we have our own site where we where I do some good things, but that doesn't mean that I can't, be true to this true DFS concept and, and review other sites when it comes up. Um, and I, I'm not going to get into uh, negative reviews of sites uh, and not because I don't want to be, not to be disingenuous or anything like that. Cause yes, there are some sites and so are, are some things within sites that I think are really, really bad, but I don't know. People might think that's not not right to only review the good stuff, but I don't know. Maybe because I'm getting older and things like that. I, I just I just really don't need the negative energy. If you want to know the truth? So so I, I'm honestly just going to when I see something that's really really good or a site that's really good, I'll I'll either have those guys on my site, you know, and review it and, and talk to them about it, um, or if things just kind of come up and I feel like it, I'll just kind of give a review myself. And this is going to be kind of a weird one. Um, and I don't know why I'm starting with this one, just because it's kind of new. So as you guys know, you know, Run, Run Pure Sports has been you know, around, I guess, since the, the pandemic. And, um, you know, they, they they took some some guys from Roto Grinders and and they added, I don't want to get into the whole history of the business, whatever, but but they have Wiley, who, who was just super sharp uh, as far as business goes. And... Uh, you know, obviously they, they do very, very well. And, and I subscribe to Run Pure Sports. I mean, I subscribe to almost everything, if you want to know the truth. Um, and I, I know some of these guys a little bit. You know, I remember Big T back from, from Roto Grinders and, and obviously JSU Rab. And, and in the new guys, you know, that have come along recently, got Rubio Dimes, like super sharp. And there are obviously some that I'm, some I'm missing, you know, whatever. I, again, forgive me if I don't think of everybody. And, you know, although I, I do belong to Run Pure Sports, just because there's so many places to go for information and some whatever, there's some place, some things about Run Pure Sports, I don't even, I don't even look at, you know, I, I don't, and not because it's bad or anything like that, I just don't have time to, to examine everything, like the football stuff and the baseball stuff, for whatever reason, I just don't get into the Run Pure baseball and football stuff, um, or, or even the basketball, um, for whatever reason, the, the, the part of Run Pure that I've really grown to embrace is, is the tennis stuff. And we're going to get probably well too into the weeds with this. Um, but part, part of content and a really, really, really big part of content is how the Discord channel and how the community kind of builds and, and how they share information and, and what kind of vibe, you know, is, is within the Discord channel. And one of the things that I find really interesting is that even within certain sites, you know, you'll get a totally different tone of each Discord channel. You know, the, maybe the basketball one will be all kinds of tilt or whatever. And maybe the, I don't know, the, the MMA one will be all kinds of analysis and, and videos or whatever. It doesn't matter. But it's weird how each sport sometimes, even within sites, has a completely different vibe and a different uh, vibe. I use the word again, just the way I think about it. Now, the, the tennis streets are really interesting because the projections are very, very common 
throughout the industry. When, when you analyze industry projections or even your own, you don't get a lot of you don't get a lot of variance or variation or whatever between projections, just because projecting tennis players is just so incredibly easy. You know, it's it's essentially win odds and then some degree of aces and things like that. And it's it's extraordinarily trivial to to do tennis projections, which is why no matter how no matter where you go for tennis projections, they're all going to look very 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 simple. Um, so in a situation like that where the projections are very very similar, there's you know the only edge you're going to be able to get is is either from you know knowing ball whatever that you know whatever that means to you like knowing the player is better or um you know being really really good at the sims and lineup construction which people are are attempting to do or being extraordinarily on top of the news okay and on extraordinarily on top of 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 withdrawals and things like that okay and again just because i'm i'm profiling run pure sports and their tennis approach and, and their tennis channel in this video it doesn't mean that other sites aren't doing it as well but but this is the one that i just noticed is that run pure in their discord channel they are so in into and and into the weeds with yes the players the trends and things like that but they are all over possible withdrawals possible injuries things that are really you would think are, are factored into the projections, but they're just not. Okay. Um, and whenever I play the tennis streets, I mean, I do my projections, I run my sims or whatever. And I always go into the run pure um, discord chat. Uh, we'll get back to the information for a second, but first of all, it's just so much fun in, in the tennis streets, uh, just kind of sweating in the, in the, run pure discord channel because it's not like the other channels you within run pure there's not a lot of anger towards each other you know there's not a lot of cursing at each other whatever it is the only cursing is really done at the players you know which is which is fine and it's kind of it's kind of a i don't know it's kind of a very wholesome channel you know like every, they all have nicknames for all the players they they have guys that come in and just kind of update you know hey this guy broke here she broke here oh my and it's just a very very pleasant and 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 I don't know. It's it's kind of a pleasant experience, <laughs> honestly. Sweat sweating a tennis slate in in their Discord channel, and so you have the combination of it being filled with. We'll get to the players in a minute, but really good players. But also the whole vibe of the of the whole vibe of it is is really worth it, you know. And as you guys know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the tennis streets as far as being a good sweat. It's kind of like MMA, like everything's like right in front of you you know what you're rooting for, you know, and it's, it's kind of like low stress, you know, you don't have like 45 games going at once and you have to worry about if this guy's getting a basket here, if this guy's getting a block over here, you got a couple of matches, you know what you need to win and you can figure all out pretty easily. Um, and sweating it along the way is, is, is a lot of fun, but they really, really do a tremendous job with these withdrawals. And, and yesterday was an incredible example, which I'm going to kind of, you know, throw out there. And again, other sites might have done this. I don't know, but they just do this all the time. Um, so Christian Moutet was um, was playing Michael McDonald. And they, they came up, and I always checked the Discord, they were saying that Michael McDonald was was scheduled to play um, a doubles tournament. Uh, it was in the finals. I forget, yeah, in, uh, in Cincinnati that morning. And they couldn't imagine why he would want to play that and then fly all the way to Winston-Salem and play the singles match here. And so this was a really big, I think, a, a big withdrawal risk, according to the people in run here. And I'm looking through it, and I don't see it anywhere, I mean, really. Um, and see, it made perfect sense to me. And the impact of that, for those of you who don't know, is if, in fact, McDonald was, was in fact, going to be scratched, Moutet was going to be paired with a lucky loser and probably be a huge favorite. Okay. So at 7,200 against McDonald, it was just kind of a play. I mean, if that, but Moutet against a, a lucky loser would be almost, almost, you know, kind of a theoretical lock. The only problem in my head was the fact that everybody, I would imagine because it's DFS. I imagine everybody knows this, you know, I just imagine that 
everybody's on top of this, like they're on top of every freaking other injury news in the world, um, that Mutet would be like 100% owned, right? So I was very, very nervous about this, um, about going too far, you know, headlong into it. Um, so what I did was that I, I hedged a little bit. I, I adjusted my projections, not for 100%, withdrawal by mcdonald but for like maybe 67 percent withdrawal by mcdonald i ended up getting about 100 percent of mutet anyway and i said you know let's just let's just go for it and we'll just see i figured it would it would show up at 65 percent ownership and and you know whatever okay now look it, there were other really good pieces of chalk on this slate as well like Lusich was a good piece of chalk the Svaja was a good piece of chalk there were good pieces of cheap chalk which is what's happening in tennis but when push came to shove, like the, the slate started and his match wasn't going to be till eight hours later. Okay. And it's a, not a late swap sports. Everybody was locked in. And we saw that Mutet was 21% owned and, and, and everybody's like, well, what is this 21% business? I actually was the only one who had him in the qualifier that I played. I played like the 11 man qualifier or whatever it is uh, for the, for the King of the baseline. There was like a five way dupe. Okay that didn't have it. And I had Mutet, right? That, do you know how incredible leverage that is, right? So in any case, they kept on following this. They kept following this. And, and they, they even gave different reasons for why McDonald would, would, might withdraw even if he finished the match early. They were getting into, you know, he doesn't really need the money. So why would he come? This, all this stuff. And when it came out 21%, I'm like, wow. I mean, that, that was the most shocking thing of all is that one site could be so on top of one thing and nobody else cared. Okay. And so I figured this would be a good time to shout this out. Now, as it turns out, I mean, it was one of the chalkiest slates I've ever seen. And I, I only, don't even think I won on this slate. I mean, I, I, I lost, Mutet ended up winning um, seven, six, six, one or something. If he got six, zero, I would have won the, I would have won everything, but whatever. He had one match point. doesn't matter. So, I figured this would be as good enough uh, of a of a shout out to the Run Pure guys uh, to to make this video. Um, again, I I don't want to come straight out and recommend the whole site that I play like and use every single sport. I'm sure they're good at everything, but as far as my video and things that are, are, are important to me, I think that it was worth making the video with this you know with this slate firmly in my head because this happens a lot. And these guys at Rum Pure in the tennis streets, in the Discord channel, do just an amazing job with this. And when you when you have a sport where the projections aren't going to help you, I mean, they're going to help you, but I mean, you're not going to differentiate yourself from there. These types of extra bits of information and this information flow is, is really important. And when you combine that with a, uh, a vibe and, and tone of the Discord channel, which is so conducive to, you know, you know, I don't know, fun and yet still good information. I fully recommend this. And that's it. Good luck, everybody.